might as well do it on this camera while we got it out what's going on youtube welcome to the channel it's your boy the humble savage it has been over a week since i've ridden a board let alone an xr we got a new board y'all we got a gt i'm not gonna do no unboxing here's some pictures all that good jazz today we are out at the park we're not doing no strava runs or anything today is our first official ride on the gt i have had this gt for a week and have not really ridden it yet aside from on my street i got covid y'all she had me hemmed up so today uh finally got a chance to get out here and we're just gonna take a light ride through we're gonna do up roots and ladders and down roots and ladders and while we ride along, we'll probably pause and talk a little bit and give you all a little bit of my feedback on the GT. She's a monster. We can already tell that, but let's get into it. All right. Locked the truck up before I even got that board out. That's how I'm excited I am to ride. So, yeah. First ride on this thing after having it for a week, man. You have no idea. COVID had me so hemmed up. It's not even funny, man. Like, whoever created that shit is evil. But here we go. Let's go take a gander at her, see what she looked like. Yes, sir. We got the treaded tire on there. And uh, it's definitely a different board. It even looks longer, honestly, just based on the appearance. Like, I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing here, but it, it, it looks like a longer board. Um, feels good i will say off the bat i miss my diy love hump that i created for myself so we'll see how we deal with that we will be running a fender all the time until they figure out all the ghosting issues right now i'm blaming it on the foot pad and just like dirty foot pads um so we're gonna try to keep it as clean as possible um but yeah let's get out on this thing man and the other thing we got to get used to is these new shoes because I'm tired of running off the board and the first step I hit a rock and jam my heel. So it's like new shoes, they're more like hiking boots. So I gotta get used to not being on like skateboard shoes and being in hiking boots. But let's see if we can stay with these mountain bike guys, man. Let's go. Let's button our helmet up first, jeez. So excited. Excited for getting all safety. All right, so off the bat, just that uphill right there, she's probably four times stronger climbing hills on the XR just off that because that usually if i don't come through there with enough speed it's not good like you're not making it up there did i even come across the right one yeah i did they just went the other way i was trying to dip those mountain bike guys actually but yeah so so far already we can tell my biggest dislike already is very top heavy and boaty so I, gotta, I gotta find my footing I have to drop the PSI. Enduro tire. Uh, shoot. 
Take a little break here. So, it's a boat, man. Like, it's definitely gonna take some getting used to. Um, and I might need to lower the PSI some more too because she still feels a little walky. Like, this tire is very, very carby. So, it can feel very wobbly. On top of it already being top heavy on the board side but uh, let's hit this real quick this is another spot So what's interesting about the GT and its height, I'm going to put a picture up here. I'll take it when I get home. My dropped board with the half and half and this have the same lower ground clearance. So it's literally like they gave it a lower ground clearance, built it up on top, but then gave it a bigger tire. So like it's still going to, it's just going to feel top heavy. And then even the idea like now I have my board dropped. If I were to drop this, I'm losing even more ground clearance. Now it doesn't feel too bad. Like some of the spots where I was scraping my normal board, my XR, didn't scrape on this. But uh, at least with the camera in my hand, like I said, I haven't really ridden, ridden this thing yet. At least with the camera in the hand, it feels harder. So, wait, let's get back on this trail. What's yep. going on guys? How you doing? Good, good. Dropped the PSI a little bit more. I think I had it set to like 13. We're about to just drop her and mob her dog. Like, see what whatever we can get. Put some squish in that rubber, and let's hit it, dog.
Alright, so we didn't really talk much on that last little run. Had a couple human encounters. But uh, what's annoying me is the fact that I'm trying to learn and wear new shoes. And I wish I could just, you know, ride it and get used to it with my old shoes. But like I said, I'm trying to protect my feet more. So that when I come off the board, I notice that first step that you take, if you land on a big ass rock and you're wearing just like Vans or some shit like that, if you've been wearing them Vans for a while, you'll notice the bottoms get soft on them. And when they get soft, when you land on a rock, it's gonna feel soft. So the shit is not good, but it's an amazing board. It's gonna take some getting used to. Definitely a bit boaty. Um, I don't know what my PSI is at now, but we're gonna put some more back in it just because it's a little low she feels a little sluggish need to find that perfect balance with this tire but the best part is the enduro tires coming out for this thing very very soon so I'm gonna ride this thing some more without the camera in my hand and come back later and give like my final thoughts on like my first day out on the trails and my impressions of it um, so let's run this camera over to the truck oh what mode were we even in that whole time huh? curious if it was in flow that's why i don't like it it's one thing i have figured i did figure out was that high line is my mode of choice so we were in high line oh yeah let's get back out on this trail we'll be back with a, with a final wrap up all righty y'all we back after a little ride and um, my final thoughts are you know, conclusions, first impression on the GT. So whoever it was who thought that these were concave foot pads, I don't know who the inventor or the person was it at, but it was a fucking kook. Like these are not concave foot pads. Like it's flat in the middle and just kicks up on the side. It does nothing for you. Like it doesn't help you get any heel side or toe more toe side turning. It doesn't keep you locked into the board at all. Like, I actually find my feet to be wandering a lot on this thing. It's probably the bouncy tire. Um, but as you can see, she ain't pretty no more. Like, I went out and I fucking rode the thing. And, yeah, as everybody, you, you, I'm sure you've heard the tire. Yeah, it's hard. It's bouncy. I aired down. I'm excited for the Enduro. My biggest disappointment, honestly, is the foot pads. Like... You would think that they would have gone with a softer material versus this hard ass plastic. Since everybody upgrades to a softer material, you know, with aftermarket things anyway. So like they were trying to beat us to the punch with that. Well, they failed there. Um, yeah, that's probably my biggest complaint, which is probably not a bad one. But at the same time, for that to be like a, a large selling point behind this thing, I expected more. I expected better. But uh, other than that, the thing rides, it's just going to take some getting used to. Um, I can't wait to get a new tire on it just to see how that, you know, changes the ride. Put the Enduro on there. But uh, outside of that, we're just going to keep riding around. Um, I'll put a post up here, you know, how far we went today and how much battery we used. Just so you can see. I'm under 200 pounds now after COVID, so time to get my weight back up. But yeah, that's it. Until next time, I'm your boy, the Humble Savage. Oh, as you can see, Sorrel is going. If you want a shirt, I'm taking pre-orders. So hit me up. I'm probably just going to do them just like I did my shirts back in the day. 28 bucks shipped. And we'll get them out there to you. I appreciate any and all support that comes my way. Again, all this is going towards is giving back to you guys. and putting it into the prize pool for Sorrel. So that way we can hopefully hook you know the winners up with something dope this year next year have even more sponsors and be able to do more but anyway till next time peace out y'all